Yeah, and one of those is Callum Hudson-Odoi. I know you, you've said in the past he needs to perform consistently to, yeah. to turn that corner. Just a couple of questions on him, really. Do you think he's now heading in the right direction? And on the England front, if he's not being selected in the England team, do you think, would you advise him to play in the under-21s? What's your view on that? I did not get involved uh, into this dis discussion. Uh, I know that it was a discussion between the Federation, of course, and, and Callum, and then it ended up, I, if I'm correctly informed, ended up with Peter Czech being in this discussion, I think, in, with, the, with the Federation. I was happy about that. I had no interest to get involved uh, and and um, and to to know the exact uh, reasons why is that you know it has also if Cullen is here we have full control of what he's doing we have full control about his load and about also his 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 focus and his uh, his his approach to his game so it's also a good thing when we are in charge here about him he is clearly on the right way. You can see it in the matches. You can see how effective he is, and uh, he. I feel him very focused. He waited a long time for these chances. Now they arrived, and uh, the best reaction from him is to keep on going and to show the consistency uh, that we need in the moment for him. And uh, it's uh, in a good way. Hi, Thomas. Um, Hi. Just on Karen, um I appreciate that you weren't involved in, in his decision, and so I'm not asking you to go into details about. Wow. Callum, a decision of international call-up, Nick? Yeah, that's, that's oh. right, yeah, indeed, yeah. But, um, but um, uh, Trevor Sinclair, the former women player, suggested it was arrogant not to join up. And I just wondered uh, what your thoughts were on that, because I'm judging by everything you said, that, you know, you, you sort of, you're seeing Callum as somebody who's working very hard to just, you know, be as good as he can be. I can understand if people don't understand it or if they don't like it. Um, I don't give too much on, on judgments from outside. First of all, I don't read them and um, I hear them when, when, you, when you mention them. And I think that Callum is very aware that if he takes a decision like this, not, not everybody will be happy about this decision. But there are, uh, it, you should ask Callum about it and, um, and, and, and uh, he will have, he, he probably has a good reason why he's, why he's not joining or why he thinks that in this moment for him personally it's better to stay and, 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 and to be here in training and fight for his place. So I think it's, it's easy to judge from outside. We should hear both sides. If you want this uh, a case to be solved, you should hear both sides. I am actually not involved and I'm happy because I think it's not necessary that I get involved. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not here to, to convince players uh, to, 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 to join where they don't genuinely feel that they want to join. So we do the best out of this situation and, and uh, if there are consequences, I'm sure that Callum uh, takes the consequences because he's a, he's a young adult and, and that's it for me. I'm glad you brought up Hudson Adoy because this is one I can't get my head around. The Southgate addressed this as well and on Hudson Adoy, he spoke about the player choosing to reject the call-up for England's under-21s. It is difficult if you're a young player, you've been with the senior team, he went back and played with the under-21s in the last, last cycle. And then to go again a second cycle, I could understand, is, is a difficult challenge. So we would still like him to do that, but he wants to back himself with his Chelsea form to get back into the seniors, and I totally respect that. So by not being in the under-21s, he misses a bit of an opportunity to impress us and to be able to come across if, if we need players for training and those sorts of things. Um, he's he's had a couple of good matches for Chelsea. I know Thomas is guarded about how uh, much he he goes uh, with the praise on that, <clears throat> but it's good to see him back playing and um, and uh, playing you know more regularly at first team level. And he knows the challenge that's ahead, but he knows also that we're constantly watching him, and he's young enough to to be. You know, and talented enough to, to mount a serious challenge as we move forward. See, I think Southgate is fair in that, Simon. Mm. But again, you're not having this because it, it, he, what he is saying is by snubbing the under 21s, yeah. uh, he, he's, he's knocking himself out of the picture. Mm. I mean, I think, don't get me wrong, I think Gareth Southgate is a very eloquent and articulate football manager who operates in a very statesmanlike way and has done a great job of bringing the England team closer to the media.
and subsequently closer to the fans. But when I look at players, I mean, it worked very well for David Bentley, didn't it? He turned, turned around saying he didn't want to pay for the 21s. This feels to me that Gareth Southgate sometimes wants to be everything to everyone. And unfortunately, in a position of authority, you can't be. You will decide. You will decide. When he was a 21s manager, I'm sure he wouldn't have been as relaxed about the situation when a player decides he doesn't want to pay for the 21s. I think he might have had a different attitude towards it entirely. But you, as the England manager and the under-21 manager, will decide which framework that player goes into and when he's ready to go into the next framework. And if someone's fool enough to tell that they don't think that that's the right, then they must be prepared to suffer the consequences for that because it exhibits a certain disposition and attitude that isn't becoming of a player. We all understand that players have a right to express their views. We all have a right to say that players are intelligent enough to understand where they think they really are. But when you're coming to being selected, for, that's okay at domestic level, when you're playing for your country, it becomes a different dynamic. Dynamic, And I just think that there's an, there's an element of ill-advisedness about the stance that Callum Hudson-Odoi has taken. 100%. I, but I can detect in Gareth Southgate's voice that it's going to go against hudson Did you? 100%. Okay. It's going to go against him. He's making it more difficult for himself to get back. He's only just got in the Chelsea team. And but by is the hudson Adoy not backing himself longer term to do a better and bigger job for England? I think it's about him towing the line. I think Absolutely. it's about a bit about this is an amazing opportunity for him to to maybe have been got back into the twenty ones. I know he doesn't see it. That's an ego issue, isn't it? When well, you well, when you have to take, I mean, well, there, we all have to take. A, a, there's one of the listeners, time, Carl. To, Look, Hudson Adoy is right. He needs proper football for his own level. He, under twenty ones too too far below his capabilities. Well, you so, could so. say that. You could say that about some of the others that are in there. Gallagher's been brilliant this season. Does Correct. well for England. You've got Smith Rowe, who's got a case that he should be in the full England team. For what? Why has he been overlooked? I don't really know, but it's nice to have that convey about. But actually, Gareth Southgate now is picking from more uh, English players in the Premier League. We've got forty-one percent of the players now are English, so that so the pool of players to pick from is way bigger. So the likes of Hudson Odoi, they might not get chances again if they don't want to pick up the pieces with the twenty ones, because he's building his international career. He's doing it under the umbrella of Southgate, and now he's turned his back on it. He's only going to make it more difficult for himself in the future. Playing for England, everything for you. Was that the, was that the ultimate? I mean, I know pulling on the Arsenal jersey was pretty it's an honour. Good. It's yeah. an absolute honour, and then to captain my country, which I managed to do once, was was probably even bigger because of the responsibility that comes with it. But yeah, playing at Wembley uh, in an England game w- was a big deal. I bet. 